Restaurant Brands International and Popeyes Louisiana Kitchen announced that the companies have reached an agreement for RBI to acquire Popeyes for $1.8 billion. RBI says the acquisition of Popeyes will add a successful, highly regarded brand with strong customer loyalty to its portfolio, which already includes two of the world's most iconic QSR brands, Burger King and Tim Hortons. Following the closing of the transaction, Popeyes will continue to be managed independently in the U.S. while benefiting from the global scale and resources of RBI. For more regarding the acquisition and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. In other news, market reporter Gary Morrison has the latest cold storage survey predictions. Analysts predict the monthly cold storage report, scheduled for release at 3 p.m. Eastern Time Thursday, to show frozen total meat and poultry stocks as of January 31st, up about 6.3% from the previous month and just 0.5% over a year ago. Pork and chicken are predicted to be below a year ago, while beef and turkey are expected to increase. Belly stocks are predicted to be a record low for January, and total beef stocks a record high. For more information on the Erner Barry survey and other information, subscribers can click on the News tab in Comtel. Thanks, Gary. We now turn to poultry market reporter Terrence Wells with the latest on the turkey market. It's no secret that the market performance of thigh meat correlates with the relative amount of spot demand servicing from export partners, as well as with the impact the season is having on internal U.S. processor requirements. In simple terms, of these two influences, export demand is shaped by currency valuations and the price or availability of competing proteins, specifically hams. Following a dramatic suspension of trade in 2015, exports of turkey turned the corner last spring, and each passing month's data is looking better than the preceding one. With a weak peso dollar relationship in play, export potential is increasingly being determined by the value relationship thigh meat shares with hams. Last fall, that relationship took a downturn for turkey as pork values retreated and thigh meat prices escalated in response to improved year-on-year -year export demand. All things being equal, lower prices should help stimulate demand following Easter, while at the same time positioning thigh meat in a more favorable competitive light. Thanks, Terrence. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to head over to the News tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by the Chicago Midwest Meat Association. On March 18th, the CMMA is hosting its second annual spring networking event at Mike Dicka's Oak Brook Terrace. Enjoy watching the NCAA tournament while meeting new clients, or bring one with you. To register, call 708-478-7270 or visit the website listed below.